like. I don't care what it feels like. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad that you all are tuning in with us this morning. Let us pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. We pray right now that this word will reach those it never reached. It will touch those it never touched. It will heal those it never healed. We pray right now for your forgiveness right now. And I pray right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let me sit in you so you can stand in me. Let me close my mouth so you can open yours. Allow all of me to tell about all of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so excited about this morning. Listen, I want to personally thank God for all of you for your birthday wishes. For those of you who did not know, um, this weekend, this past Friday, uh, was my birthday. So I want to thank God for the cards. I want to thank God for those who gave through Cash App. Uh, you uh, elaborated your sentiments even on Facebook, phone calls, text messages. I thank you. I'm so grateful in the name of Jesus. Uh, we will be going back to Psalms um, chapter 30. We were here on last week. Um, Psalms chapter 30, we're looking at verse 5. And it reads, um, For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. I want to continue ministering with this thought we have in our mind. It would all be over in the morning. Uh, yes, it would all be over in the morning. Listen, whatever you are currently going through, whatever you are currently facing, I need you to get in your spirit and declare it will all be over in the morning. Uh, I can't hear anybody. Can you, res can you say that this morning resoundingly? Can you even put that on the screen in the comment box? Can you just say it'll all be over in the morning? I believe that by faith, the trials that we are facing, the devastation that we are facing, the atrocities that we are facing, I believe that it'll all be over in the morning. Um, last week we came here from um, Psalms 30 and I told you that David, a great prolific writer, that David, his writings are so versatile and erratic because some of the songs that David wrote, um, some were about worship, some were about praise, some was about forgiveness, some, ladies and gentlemen, was about defeat, some were about hardship. And some were about fear. But in Psalms 30, David does something different. In Psalms 30, this here is about his testimony. David testifies in the book of Psalms chapter 30. And David here, when he says weeping may endure for a night and joy comes in the morning, it wasn't just a regular song. This here was part of David's testimony. And I'm talking to those of you who are watching me this morning. The reason why you, some of you love this scripture it, is to you is more than just a song. It's more than just a passage. To some of you, this is a testimony to understand that what I went through in times past, it did not last that long. But God came in with his Holy Ghost power and delivered me from it all. David said, I remember last week I said that weeping endures for a night. And the word endure means a temporary lodging place. And David knew that it would only be there for a night because weeping only could lodge in his spirit temporary. I told you on last week that David realized that my tears are temporary. Uh, some of you ought to give God praise because your tears are temporary. I don't care how much you cried. I don't care how much you lamented over this past storm in your life. You have to understand that your tears are temporary. Yes, it's okay to cry. 
Yes, it's okay to weep. Yes, it's okay to have a bad moment. Yes, it's okay to be in a distressing season of your life. But can you understand by faith that my tears are temporary? Can you give God praise just for this verse and understand that my tears are temporary? I'm not talking to you if you're not going through anything. But for those of you who are suffering, for those of you who are in pain, for those of you who are going through some stuff I'm telling you God wanted me to let you know that your tears are temporary so here we are going to continue in verse 5 David says here in verse 5 he said weeping endures for a night but joy comes in the morning he said I want to let you know it'll be all over in the morning I want to further tell you how you will know it'll be all over in the morning. He said, weeping endures for a night. Watch this, Parker McCartney, verse 5. But joy comes in the morning. Notice when joy comes. <laughs> joy comes, watch this, in the morning. Ah, apostle, I still don't get it. Watch this. But morning can't come, watch this, until night is over. Mm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, joy comes in the morning, but morning can't show up until night is over. What are you saying, Apostle? There is something that I get in the night that I can't get in the morning. Woo. Yeah. That there's something that I get in the night um, that I can't get in the morning. Oh, yeah. There's something, watch this, you receive while you are suffering mm, that you can't receive in the morning time. And so morning doesn't show up until night is over. First Peter, watch this, 5 and 10, let me read it to you. It says, after you have suffered a while, um, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Ah, hey. God himself, watch this, will perfect you. He will confirm you. Watch this. He will strengthen in you. He will also establish you. Why? When will he do this? And in verse 10, um, it says, after you have suffered a while. Yes, uh, he, he, he does this stuff, watch this, at night. Oh, I mean, so he used the night season of your life to perfect you. He uses the night season of your life to confirm you. He, he uses the night season of your life to strengthen you. He uses that particular season to establish you. He doesn't do it in the morning, but he does it at night. And Peter said, I can testify to that because he did it after I suffered for a while. And you got to understand that while you are suffering, while you are weeping, while you are lamenting, here it is, God is working. And that's the main reason why some people want to quit. Uh, that's the main reason why some people want to throw in the towel while they're going through a season of weeping. Uh, because they think, watch this, God only works in, in the morning. They think God that only works in the evening. But God said, tell my people, Apostle Mac, tell them I'm not limited to working in the morning, nor am I limited to working in the evening. But the God they serve, watch this, he works at night. Ah, you look at John 9 verse 4 Jesus said work while this day it is for night is coming ah, he tells them work while it's day why guess what because night is coming uh, I don't care how good you have it in your life, night is coming. Uh, I don't care how much you can brag about what you have, night is coming. But guess what? He said night is coming when no man could work. 
But what you have to understand, church, he said, you may not be able to work. Watch this. But I am working. Uh, you got to understand that God works at night. And David said, watch this. The reason why I understand that joy comes in the morning is because my God is working night shift. Woo. My God is working night shift. I want to talk to somebody who's watching me this morning. Hold your head up because God is working night shift on your behalf. I know you're going through a whole lot. I know you're hurting. I know you are in pain. But have you got to understand that God is working night shift. Don't limit God to the morning. Don't limit God to the evening. But the God I serve, he works night shift. And when God works night shift, he's doing something behind the scene. When God works night shift, he's doing something while you're in pain. It was in David's life. David here, he writes this because he understand, I know weeping endures for a night. I know joy comes in the morning because of my God, he works night shift. Well, David, how do you know God works night shift? David said it was in first. Samuel chapter 30 that when I went back to Ziglag the Amalekites burned my homes, stole my wives and my children. The men I had around me, they wanted to kill me and stone me. I, we were greatly distressed. We cried. We were going through a night season. But don't forget in that same chapter, I got down on my knees. I asked the prophet, the priest, bring me to Ephah. Let me pray. And while I was praying, I realized God was working night shift because I, God allowed me to encourage myself at night. Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane he was going through a stressful and the stressful season of his time it was night he's walking through the garden and the Bible says he began to cry going through agony till it was like blood of tears coming down his face his tears were like blood coming down his face he said and I quote he said God if it's your will allow this bit of cup to pass from me but one thing he realized that God was working that night and while he understand God was working that night God gave him strength at night he said now I feel better it's not my will but let your will be done it was Peter, the apostle Peter, he was in prison, locked up, about to die. And the Bible says while he was kept in prison, the church prayed for him. But that night, ladies and gentlemen, God was working. How do we know God was working? The Bible says an angel came in at night, hit Peter on the shoulder, said get up and get out of here. God woke Peter up at night because it was at night where a Peter was in prison that he was sleep but Peter went to sleep because he know I might as well go to sleep because of God I serve he works night shift and since he works night shift I'm gonna go ahead and get me some rest I'm gonna get me some sleep because Psalm says the God that's over Israel he never slumber asleep and since he, he's not asleep I'm gonna get me some rest because my God is working night shift can you tell somebody God God is working night shift for those of you who are going through divorce don't give up because God is working night shift for those of you who are grieving from the loss of a loved one hold your head up because God is working night shift for those of you who are about to lose that house I'm telling you don't give up because God is working night shift for those of you who have a family member dealing with COVID-19 I'm telling you joy is coming in the morning because God is working night shift for those of you who are trying to get up the extra money to pay for that bill I'm telling you have faith in God because God is working night shift for those of you who are using and operating in a bad marriage I'm telling you keep your head up because God is working night shift for those of you who need extra money to get your car out of the shop can you hold your head up 
because God is working night shift. I'm, I'm talking to those of you who are carrying a lot on your shoulder and you don't even know where you're going or coming. Can I tell you, hold your head up because God is working night shift. For those of you who are dealing with hurt and pain, can I tell you, you might as well put a smile on your face because God is working night shift. Can you tell somebody God is working night shift? He's not limited to the morning shift. He's not limited to the evening shift. But David said, I'm encouraged tonight because my God is working night shift. Who am I talking to on this Sunday morning? I know you're hurting. I know you in pain but lift your head up put a joy in your spirit and a smile on your face and tell somebody my God is working night shift he's working night shift and David said here it is verse 5 weeping endures for a night joy comes in the morning now many of us we read this and the reason why some of us, if the truth be told, have a hard time agreeing with this text. Because you go to bed in pain. And when the morning comes, you still in pain. <laughs> you go to bed hurting. And, and when the morning comes, you are still hurting. You say, listen, I'm reading this apostle. I hear you. You preached this last Sunday. But I got up Monday morning still depressed. I'm watching you this morning still hurting. And you telling me joy comes in the morning and I'm still weeping? Pastor, when my morning is going to come? Let me tell you something. The original Hebrew version of this text it does not read joy comes in the morning there's a slight variation to this it says joy comes with the morning ha ah, ah yes yes the, the, the original hebrew says weeping endures for a night and joy comes with the morning so with that understanding, huh, joy, watch this, tells morning, huh, today, here it is, I'm coming with you. Huh, because watch this, it's possible to have morning and not have joy. <laughs> so if, if, if joy comes with morning or decides to come with the morning huh. some people having morning and not having joy because joy here it is and morning are two different things Woo, help me Holy Ghost so you can experience getting up in the morning and still not have joy mm. I see. You, you can experience getting up in the morning and still have joy. So, so joy uh, doesn't come inside of morning. <laughs> joy says, I'm coming with morning. And, uh, and, and, and the conditions have to be right for me to come with you morning. Because there, there are some mornings, watch this, joy said, I'm not going with but the condition has to be right for joy to come with morning. So in, in verse 5, you see a cause and an effect. Uh, Apostle, I, I'm, I'm still trying to follow you. Uh, watch this. My wife and I, we love going to Walmart. I believe she loves it better than I do. Uh, but, uh, but watch this. Uh, there are some people in Walmart that we overlook, all right? And I'm not talking about cashiers. I'm not talking about those who work um, in customer service. I'm not talking about the greeters or the baggers. Uh, some of the people that we overlook in Walmart, those of us who go a lot, watch this, 
are those who work night shift. <laughs> uh, they who work night shift. Watch this. Uh, you don't really see them because they come in too late. Mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, for those of you who go in the morning, you, you really don't see them because they leave too early. When the night shift work, they are there to stop the shelves. So watch this. Most of them are working while the store is closed. Mm. For the Walmarts who close at a certain time. Uh, they they come in, watch this, while the store is closed. Or for those that are 24 hours, they come in when most people are asleep. Watch this. Um, so uh, they are now working in front of people. Most of their work are done behind the scene. So while you are asleep, watch this, they're putting the sugar up. While you are asleep, they putting the tissue up. While you are asleep, they putting the flour up, the trash bags up. Watch this. So when you come in the morning, you are able, watch this, to benefit from what they did at night. Ah, help me, Holy Ghost. Woo. So when you come to Walmart in the morning and the bread is where it needs to be, the sugar is where it needs to be, the clothes are where it needs to be, the battery, everything you are looking for is properly on the shelves where it needs to be. You can benefit, watch this, from the morning based on what happened at night. Whew. So David said, Weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy comes with the morning. So in other words, watch this. God is saying, I'm working night shift. And so while you are in your night season, God is saying, I'm behind the scene. I'm stocking some stuff for you. That while you are behind the scene, I'm putting joy where it needs to be. Yeah. While you are behind the scene, I'm putting peace where it needs to be. While you are asleep, here it is. I'm putting your anointing where it needs to be. And all this stuff I'm putting on the shelves in your spirit at night. Ah, so when joy, when, when morning comes, joy is saying, I'm already here. Ah, when, when you get up in the morning, joy is saying, I'm already here. So my second point and my last point, David says, watch this, that my joy comes in the morning because of what happened at night. Mm. Uh, my joy don't come in the morning because it's morning. Uh, but David said my joy comes in the morning because of what happened at night. Can I tell somebody God is doing something now in your night season. Uh, he's doing something now in your weeping season. And when you experience your morning season, everything you get in your morning will be a result of what happened that night. Your praise won't start in the morning. Morning. But your praise will start at night. Your peace won't start in the morning. But God is putting peace on the shelf at night. Can you give God praise? Because God is working night shift. And when God works night shift, he's stocking some stuff for you while you sleep. When God works night shift, he's putting joy where joy needs to be. So when morning comes, morning will say, hey joy, how long will you be? been here and John would say I was here at night can you give God praise because some of you won't just get your joy when the sun come up but some of you will get your joy even at night so as I get out of here David was letting us know here it is I know my joy comes in the morning because my God is working night shift. <laughs> that while I'm in my night season, while I'm weeping, God is working. You may not know God is working, but God is working.
it may not feel like God is working but God is working you, you may you may be in pain but can I tell you God is working he's working night shift and there are some stuff in you that God can't put in you until night that's something you get at night you don't get in the morning and God is saying I'm doing this at night so for some of you it's morning guess what your joy won't come because it's morning your joy will come in the morning because of what happened that night and that night first Peter 5 and 10 then after you suffered a while God himself will perfect confirm strengthen and may establish you so when the morning come you'll be ready and you come forth as pure gold let us pray father right now in the name of jesus I thank you right now, Father God, for this word. I thank you right now, Father God, for what you're doing in the lives of your believers. And I pray right now, Father, show them that you're working night shift. Show them that while you're working night shift, Father God, show them right now you are stocking their shelves. That the joy they need, Father, when they come in the morning, is already there. That peace they need when they show up in the morning it's already there the mercy they need when they show up in the morning it's already there father right now in the name of jesus can you work night shift i thank you for working night shift on my behalf and while you're working night shift father everything i need for the morning stock it on my shelf to let me know father in the name of jesus that my joy won't come because it's morning my joy will come in the morning because of what you did that night so we thank you right now for working night shift we thank you right now for stocking our shelves and we thank you right now that it'll all be over in the morning in jesus name we pray amen listen if you're watching this broadcast and you are not saved repeat after me say lord i am a sinner and I come to you tonight I come to you this morning I believe right now that you rose again I believe you died I believe you got up just for me forgive me for my sins and my iniquities come into my heart and make me new again I receive you as my father please receive me as your child if you made those confessions with your heart the Bible says you are saved now ladies and gentlemen if you are watching this broadcast and you want to be a blessing to rhema word ministries the ways to give is on the screen those of you who want to give by way of cash out maybe you want to mail it in please do so you know the seed that leaves your hand will never leave your life and those of you who uh, want to be a blessing to yours truly apostle kj mack my cash app is at the bottom of the screen or you can use this church mailing address and mail it in please remember god will make sure your harvest return bigger than your seed well until then ladies and gentlemen we will see you on next week god bless you I don't care what it feels like